And welcome back. Welcome to our Community Corner. Joining us this morning is Taylor Larson. She's here to tell us all about the Cuddles with Kindness Valentine's Day Drive for OSF Children's Hospital of Illinois. Good morning, Taylor. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. And thanks, thanks for, for me. Of course. And thanks for bringing this little guy <laughs> or girl. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. So uh, we're talking about the Cuddles with Kindness Drive and I'm guessing this stuffed animal is related to the drive. Yes. Um, so can you talk, talk to us about what this drive is? Yeah, so um, this is, our, we've done this drive for several years, but um, it's our Cuddles with Kindness Valentine's Day Drive for OSF Children's Hospital of Illinois. And the big initiative is collecting new stuffed animals that'll then be delivered to the kids in the hospital. Um, so it's running now until February 9th, and we're just looking for brand new stuffed animals. So specifically brand new ones, and then yes. nothing, nothing used? Yeah, it has to be brand new with the tags attached, just because many of the kids mm -hmm. um, that will get them have compromised immune systems. Right, that makes sense. And so ha this is a wonderful initiative. How did this get started? Yeah, so it got started, I um, actually was hospitalized when I was younger, um, when I was eight, and I was there for a little over two weeks, and I got my own stuffed animal on oh. Valentine's Day. And it just meant so much to me, especially as a child. It was something I could hold on to during those scary moments. Yeah. And, um, it was kind of a little more, like positive moment in my stay and what, right. you know, isn't the most positive situation to right. hospitalize. So. And do you still have that stuffed animal? I do. Oh. I do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure that just really... But like you said, it made a scarier situation, a little less scary, and yeah. you knew that you had a little friend there with you to help you get through it, so yeah. that's yep. very special. Yep, so we're just looking to bring that comfort to the kids, and um, yeah. we need the community's help in order to do it. Absolutely. And so I, I know you're looking for new stuff animals. Um, are there any other criteria, like size requirements or anything? No, they can be any kind of type of stuffed animal they just have to be new with the tags attached okay very nice so any, any animal yep any animal <laughs> any color dinosaurs bears whatever <laughs> whatever you think the kids would enjoy oh that's so wonderful and are you will they be i'm guessing the stuffed animals will be delivered on valentine's day or? yeah we'll deliver some um on valentine's day and they'll be handed out then um last year we collected a little over three thousand so wow. the hospital actually stores them and then hands them out throughout the year wow three thousand yeah that's a whole lot of stuffed animals it <laughs> is it is our goal this year is four thousand so hopefully we'll get there but we i need, hope so we need the help so Absolutely. Well, I will have to get those, get my stuffed animal in. Yes. Um, for anyone who does want to donate, how can they do that? Um, so we have about 50 different drop-off locations throughout central Illinois that are all located on our website, which is mm -hmm. cuddleswithkindness.org. Um, and there's a list of, like I said, drop-off locations there. And then there's also um, options to donate online if getting out and about isn't convenient for you. That is wonderful. Oh, well, thank you so much. And we, we do have the mailing address and the web address right there on your screen. But thank you so much, Taylor, for coming in. And thanks for bringing this little stuffed animal as well. <laughs> thank you. And thank you guys for having me. Of course, anytime. And, uh, of course, if you or someone you know would like to join our Community Corner, you can head to our website, 25newsnow.com. Go ahead and click on the Community Corner tab, submit the form, and we'll take a look at it. And we hope to see you on our Community Corner. Stick with us. We'll be right back with more good news and weather.